Hi everyone, this is Place for Plushies and look what just came today. I'm so excited. Welcome to this video. I'm here with another Jumanji board game. Yay! So I wanted to show you this one. Um, yeah, just make a quick video to compare the bigger one and the smaller one. So this is the miniature um, Jumanji board game from the Noble Collection. Just after showing you the bigger one, today I received the smaller one. A little unexpected, I had to say. But short after I received the bigger one, I had a, a look on YouTube, or maybe even before that, I had a look on YouTube and I found out that actually the smaller one was also really great and totally, uh, totally nice as well, in, uh, instead of people saying, you know, people have been saying this one is so small and after bad reviews, but this is really great. And um, came to the conclusion that I might really collect one one day, but I could find this one for a really low price on Vinted. It was in new condition. I don't really know why people sold it, sold it for so um, so cheap. Um, but there you go. So it was a one of a one of a, one in a lifetime opportunity. So I got this one a little earlier than uh, than expected. So and it actually works perfectly. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm gonna show you. The, I'm gonna show you the box first. So it just came in this box, and it's actually really easy to remove. Just just move the wires aside and you can easily remove the board game from the from the box without damaging anything there you go noble collection drum sound this perfect center glows that is this is actually what i was expecting from a jumanji board game while this one doesn't really have electronic effects this one does um so i just wanted to show you in comparison um, this is a little electronic board game. It comes with pawns, with tokens. I call them pawns, but press here. This is such a gorgeous item. So I had this opportunity collecting it for so cheap, I, um, I had to grab my chance. And I have no regrets. I'm so excited to receive it today. So, let's have a look. Um, yeah, so people complaining about the size. Yeah, indeed. Well, let's have a look. What's the size of, oh, what's the size of this thing? Hold on. Yeah, I know. Just one hand. <laughs> so, this is something like the size. About 17 centimeters. Um... So, how many inch should that be? Um, difficult to say. Difficult to say. I just can't make the, um, the calculation quickly. Um, but as you can see, well, let's look at look at into uh, look at the game in comparison with my hand. Look, it is not that small. Actually, it's a good size for children too. Uh, just that it looks a little tacky because it's very plastic like. And uh, here, there you go. There you go. It goes open. It opens actually very quickly. But this is more like, yeah, a very plastic like game. But it's totally complete and, and totally awesome. So maybe if you don't like the plastic, you might not really like this very much. But the insides are just uh, prints and uh, it's a little cheap, more like cheaply made than the bigger one. But it's, it's just still a complete item. And, and it's really great for a Jumanji lover. This is totally a great gift. Um, these little ones were detached here, so you gotta be really careful opening them. You have the, the little tokens, which can be really small to play with. This game doesn't come with any rules or any instructions for playing. Only this. You're the same. You have the. Really no. This is empty. <laughs> I don't know if I actually have the dice here. I suppose I do. So it comes with tokens and dice, but it says on the box. So it won't even be. Yeah. There you go. And this one has electronic effects, and I really like the the center of this one, without that little plastic green dome that is detachable. Really like this the way it is. This is actually the kind of item I was looking for. Um, oh, you actually 
and on the switch. I don't really know exactly when it bangs, but... Sometimes it drums when it's closed, sometimes and when you open it up, the center glows. Isn't it just sweet? And sometimes he stops by himself. So this is this is just totally awesome. Really love this. Just in comparison with the bigger one, I'm gonna show you quickly. So well, as you can see, the size is quite decent. It's not that it's it's really big. You can actually even try to play with it. It's tiny, I know, but um, it's a pocket version. <laughs> yeah, I know. There might be different different um, modes in Try Me, or I don't really know exactly when he bangs, but I think I put it off. You seem to react to this little button as well. I, probably, I suppose that's the try me. Um, he bangs a little. There you go, he's off now. And there you go. He's such a sweet like this. And this is the bigger one. So it might be a little more realistic compared to the yellow like colors of this one. But it is more like the full size. I have some trouble closing it actually because of all the insides. So this one is more like a decent size for a certain game. And um, when you open it up, it is much more sturdy, still plastic, but much more, well, less tacky looking. Um, here are the instructions, everything you need to play. This one comes with instructions. And you have to assemble the, um, the center too, which I think is too bad. No sound effects on this one, but this one is totally the, the family game you can actually play. So, um, <laughs> so as you can see, this one is uh, in comparison. I can show you. I just hope it kind of fall off. Let's see, so there might be a bit of a difference. Um, the finishings here are a little more detailed than here. Here you have more something more shiny material and a print. Right here you have everything crafted in the... Well, that would seem like it. I like the center of this one so much better. I wish it was like here. <laughs> so there you go. So conclusion, these items are not exactly the same. They are actually very accurate in their own way. They have different features and I think they actually complete each other like most items I compare. So. I would say, well, I really, I'm really glad I, I've got the both, both of them. Um, and this one is is really a nice item. Some people do not like it at all, and other do, others do. Uh, but that really depends on, well, your expect expectations and what you're planning to do with it. I think this one is pretty decent, also for children. This one is more like, yeah, if you have to pay this with your allowance, you might say for a while. This one, I think he's pretty, well, affordable. And, and it's a nice prop, you can even take it with you. It might not, be, might not actually have the sturdy uh, finishings of this one. Um, but the games are less shiny. In the movie, you can actually see the game is very shiny here on the sides. But you don't have the shiny effect. They try to have this wood imitation, but... So I would say get them both if you can. If you like, get the one you love better. Um, I really like the, the lovely electronic effects on this one. And I can tell you, if I ever found this in the 90s, I would have purchased one like this, even though I was really young. But So there you go. I love these. Both of them. And um, so indeed, I might have some trouble closing everything. And this is something that you have to put here. Um, don't really like that very much. I love this one much better when it comes to the center. 
the electronic effects um, this one you can actually play easier more ergonomic you can actually easy easily move your move your your, your tokens um, but I think you have to insert some cards here in the center when he actually gives him instructions um, but this this fabric might get a little worn out after a few years uh, it is in a previous video I said it was a foam it's not exactly a foam it's more like a some kind of um, synthetic fabric um, yeah difficult to describe it anyway I hope I give you a nice view on these two beautiful board games I really hope you enjoy them very much um, especially if you already purchased them there you go so yeah I might have some trouble closing <laughs> because I put everything in there um, this one is very heavy too. This one actually goes pretty well in your hand or in your. This is this is really gorgeous. Yeah. So it's not that small after all. He's a great prop. He's a nice little thingy to to have to remind of the movie just, or maybe to creep somebody. <laughs> it's really lovely. Yeah. So I can really recommend both. Really glad I purchased them. I wasn't really surprised I could actually purchase this one, um, but I had a really great opportunity there. And there you go. Yeah, I gotta do this. I'm gonna take my little gabies away. And I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.